Hello everyone, today I'll lead Ant-Man and Avengers and the Flying Carpet and the Big Red Frost. First, the Avengers. Okay, here we go. These, these are the Avengers. The Avengers. The Avengers are a team of superheroes. Six superheroes are Avengers. Each has a each has a power. Captain America is strong. He has a shield. His shield cannot break. Break. He threw his shield to stop bad guys. If it flies back, Ant Man is Avengers too. He can become a small as an as an Ant Man. And Ant Man can speak to bugs. They help him win his fights. Ant Man can also make himself big. Mm. Ant Man calls himself Giant Man when he is big. Ant Man has par pe par partner. She is called Wasp. Wasp is like Ant Ant Man. She she can become small. She is she has wings. She she can fly. She can sting. This is the Hulk. He is an Avenger too. The Hulk is big. He is green. He is very strong. He can even smash bricks. This is Thor. Thor, Thor is also an Avenger. Thor, Thor has a hammer. He, he uses it to fly. Thor, Thor slams his hammer, hammer to make thunder. thunder. Thor through his hammer is always comes back to him. Iron Man is an Avenger. Iron Man is is not a robot. He is a man. Is an iron suit. His name is Tony. Tony made the suit. Tony is safer in the suit. The suit is full of power. Each hero is hero is strong. As a team, they are strong, strong, stronger. These are Avengers. Next book is Ant Man. Okay, here we go. This is Scott Scott uh, Scott Rank. Scott Scott is Ant Man. Ant Man is a superhero. Scott was not always Ant-Man. He was once a thief. <gasps> thief is Doduk Doduk. Moment. Oh my god. Scott stole su support his family. Scott wanted to teach his daughter right right from war. He decided to stop stealing stealing stealing. He went back to school to study science. One day, Scott met a scientist named Hank. They talked about science. Hank gave Scott a special suit. Scott tired, tried it on. So Scott shirked to take side of an ant. He was fun. At first, but then, and chest, Scott. 
Scott got big again and saved himself. Soon Scott found a way to talk to ants. Then they were his friends. Scott became Ant-Man. Ant-Man fights super villains. Ant-Man uses the ants as an army. Now Ant-Man helps to Avengers. Being small helps Ant-Man to special things. Bad guys cannot see him coming. Ant-Man can fit in small, small place. Ant-Man can surprise bad guys. Ant-Man likes working with Iron Man. Ant-Man and Iron Man make a good team. Ant-Man is very strong. Ant-Man can turn from big to tiny. Ant-Man fights for good. Ant-Man has lots of superhero friends. They help each other fight the bad guys. Ant-Man he is a true hero. Okay, next book is is the big breakfast. Okay, here we go. Ding ding ding. A uh, ding 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 ding. That came in Chip's room. He was ringing, ringing a bell. Chip, Chip sat up in bed. It's time to get up, said Dad. Mom's always, and we have lots of stuff to do. Dad rang, rang the bell, bell on the stairs. Time to get up, he called. Do we have to? asked Viv. It's the weekend. Yes, said Dad. Mom's gets back tonight. The house is mess. We must tidy up. I saw so. Yawned, yawned Chip. Good. Or start the breakfast, said Dad. The children came to down for breakfast. Bad news, said that the milk was gone off. I've burned the toast and we've got, we've run out of juice. I'm sorry. Oh no, said Kipper. I'm hungry. Well, well, have to go to the supermarket, said that we need, we need some. More food. I've got a bad, better idea," said Chip. "Let's have breakfast in the co- cafe. You can, you can eat what you like," said Dad. Then we'll do the shopping. Hooray!" said Kipper. "I'm going to have a big breakfast. I'd, I'd like blueberry." Pancakes," said Beef. "I want to egg," said Keeper. "Why not have a Keeper Keeper?" said Chip. "Only if you have chips, Chip," said Keeper. And at home, that that told the children to start their jobs or put shopping away. He he said, "You go and tidy your rooms. What what that big breakfast should give you lots of en- energy." The children looked at the mess. Let let's tidy up later," said Chip. "I'm so full, I can't move." The ch- chance. The chance of a walk then, that thought Floppy. Just then, the magic began to glow. The magic 
them back in time. It, it took them to a big house. It, look, it took them into a large hall with a big trays. It's still dark outside, said Thief. Ding ding, a bell, a bell began to ring. Suddenly, a door opened. A little girl came in. She was holding a ca candle. I'm lost. I'm lost. You must be the new servants. The housekeeper, housekeeper. Her will see you now. Follow me, she said. Lost took them down a corridor into a large storeroom. The, the housekeeper was waiting for them. You're you are right, she said. There are lots of jobs to be done. She gave children lists of jobs. Begin with, with chowing, she said. It has it has be before breakfast. Oh, I see. You have brought a dog. Good. Rose took them a large ki kitchen. This is my this is Mrs. Fry, said Rose. She's the cook. Hello, said Mrs. Cook uh, Fry. I I see you have bought a dog. Good. Where is everyone? Please, that we have brought brought uh, brought the dog. Asked Chip. Mrs. Fry pointed at a wooden wheel. Put your dog in here," she said. "I may, I may not like this," thought Fluffy. Rose put Fluffy inside the wheel. The wheel turns to meet over the fire," said Rose. "It stops the meat burning. You, you like, you like, you look like a giant." Hamster left keeper. Now we must hurry. There's so much to do, said Rose. Lord Plum, Lord Plum will up soon. We must finish the job. Then we can get his breakfast ready. Mrs. Fry put the meat on the spit. We need. We need this road for breakfast. She looked at Floppy. Keep working and don't stop, she said. Funny way to get a walk. Walked out Floppy. What is what else is for breakfast? asked Beef. Keepers of other bread, bitter pancakes. Ale or ice cream, nothing too fancy," said Rose. "Or get it ready. You get and miss the jobs on the wrist." Beef said to scrunch the clothes clean. She beat the rocks. Then she had to make some bread and put powders on the on some wigs. Chief had to clean all the fi fireplace. Then he had to collect a lot of coal. Next, he had to prosen the silver and prosen all boots. Keeper charged to make butter. He got uh, ice cream from the. Ice house. He had to carry water to the bathrooms and scrape all the floors. Come quickly," said Lou. "The the food is ready. We must take it to Bean's room. 
Hurry up and don't forget Ruth Clark's newspaper, said Mrs. Fry. The children put out dishes on a big table. Hurry up, said housekeeper. Ruth Clark will be down soon. He won't want when to see you in here. And last breakfast is finished. Was was Lord Plum happy with his breakfast? Asked the firm. No, said said the housekeeper. You forget to iron his newspaper. I want out, said Keeper. I never went another walk, said Floppy. At least we can have all. Rest, rest now, said Chip. A rest, said Rose. We have to start getting ready for brunch. Suddenly, the magic began to glow. It was, it was time to go home. What a real life, said Biff. That was hard work, said Biff. That came into Biff's room. Hurry up, he said. We've still got lots of jobs to do. Then we have to walk Fluffy. Oh no! said everyone. Early next morning, morning, the children made Mom a surprise breakfast. What's a breakfast? said Mom. You have gone to so much trouble. It was nothing, said Biff. Okay, last book, the flying carpet. Okay, here we go. Biff's carpet was torn. He, it had a big hole in, in it. Biff showed that, but he said, We can't afford a new one. Sorry, Biff. Biff and Chip were shopping with Dad. Dad, Dad wanted to buy a bookcase for Keeper's room. They saw one outside the junk shop. Oh, get his this for Keeper," said said Dad. Biff found an old carpet in the back of the shop. This is wood for my room," she said. She asked Dad if that if she could have have it. Dad, Dad looked at the old carpet. You don't want to think, he said. It's old and dirty, but I like it, said Biff. Please, may I have it? So Dad said, yes, a room as this doesn't co- cost too much. Biff beat the carpet. It was full of dusty, dust and dirty. I didn't think a uh, Carpet could be so dark, dusty, she said. I wonder who that, who had it lost. Someone who didn't with, with their feet. Biff and Mom gave carpet sh- some poo. Some poo. I don't think has it. It has ever had some poo. Shampoo the first said Biff. It looks better already. The carpet looked beautiful. It is a nice carpet, said Biff. I told you so. It it looks quite old, so maybe it's worth a lot of man money. Biff was her bedroom reading a book. Keeper came and they sat on Biff's new carpet. She she was learning to read and he wanted to read to Biff. Suddenly the magic key began to glow. Another o- adventure had begun. This is this time Biff and Keeper were on a f- flying carpet. This is a new kind of adventure. Said, said Biff, the carpet coming with us. The carpet 
went very fast. Oh, help! said Kefra. I hope we don't fall off. The carpet flew on and on. It flew over deserts and mountains. I wonder, I wonder where we are going, said Beef. At last, the carpet slowed down. Beef and Kefra looked over the side. The carpet was flying over a town. I've never seen a town like this one, said Beef. I wonder if it's going to rent. But the carpet didn't rent. Instead, it went slower and slower, slow, slower and slow, slower. Then it it stopped it by a window on the top of tower. I wonder, I wonder why we've stopped here," said Keeper. Beef and Keeper looked out the window. Through the window, they, they saw a little boy. He was crying and he looked very unhappy. We must of must be a Prisoner, prisoner," said Beef. Beef, Beef, and Keeper climbed into a re- little room. When the boy saw them, he jumped up in surprise. "Why, why are you locked up in the tow- tower?" asked Beef. "What have you done?" "I'm the real, real king of." This friend said the boy sadly, but my wicked uncle locked me in this tower. When I was king, everyone was happy. I promised to rule the country with me and well, but my uncle was jo- jealous. He wanted to be the king instead. One day, my uncle and his soldiers attacked the place. They, they captured me and put me in prison. My mother escaped. She ran away to the mountains and took the, her army with her. My uncle is bad man. He is cruel or greedy. He. He makes the people pay him money even if they are poor. If they can't pay, he puts them in prison. Nobody is happy. Every day, his people ask my mo- mother and he and her army to attack the city. She will not give give the. Older to attack because she is afraid my uncle will harm me. I am a host- hostage in the this place. Then, then we must set you free," said Beef. So the carpet will take us to your mother, Beef and Keeper. Help the boy to climb off the win- window. Then they all sat on the carpet. How do or ma- make it fly? Asked the keeper. How well is where it takes take us? Make a wish, said said Beef. Then our where we went, it too. They made a wish and. And carpet zoomed off. The carpet sped down the mountains. At last, it began to slow down. I hope know how to run," said Keeper. "It looks a wrong way down. The carpet ran landed safely. Then, when the boy's mother saw him, she couldn't drink. Driver, her eyes. She looked at the carpet and she looked at Beef and Keeper. My son is safe. 
She said thank you. The boy's mother called her soldiers. She, she told them her son was free. Now he is safe. We can't, we can't attack the city. She said, my son will be king again. Hooray, shouted the soldiers. They came down the mountains and, and marched, marched to the city. There was a big battle. This keeper and boy watched the battle for a safe place. Safe place. When the battle was over, over everyone was pleased. The boy, boy, what? The boy was king again, but the boy was not pleased. Where is my uncle? He asked. He must be punished for what? What he did? Yes, and keep. Keeper saw someone running away. He was the weak, weak uncle. Oh no, said Keeper. He's getting away. How can we stop him? Beef had the magic carpet with her. I wonder if she thought Beef made a wish and the magic carpet flew after weak Uncle, the wicked uncle rode as fast as he could, but but the carpet was faster. Stop him! Stop him! Called called it. The carpet pulled a wicked uncle for his horse. It wrapped itself round him, and then it rolled him back to the. See, help, help, called the weak uncle. Get this carpet off me. Beef and Keeper took the weak, weak uncle to the boy. Thank you, he said. It's my uncle time to go to prison. Now I can be a good king and took to after my people again. The boy gave Beef and Chip a Keeper the boy gave Beef and Keeper a present. He was beautiful toy Carmel. Thank you, they said. Suddenly, the magic began to glow. It's time to go. It's time for us to go, said Beef. But we'll take our carpet if you don't mind. The magic took to Beef and Keeper home. What an adventure, said Keeper. Do you think if wish very hard, the carpet will take me to school each day? You'll be lucky, said B. Okay, everyone, subscribe button and like button, please. Everyone, say goodbye.